welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 4 today we'll continue on let's play this is episode 210 in today's episode we are moving on to mountain chases these are events where you chase a car down a hill or up a hill I guess depending on which way it decides to go our first opponent is the Toyota Yaris S so we need something just as naff as it so that's why we're going for the 2011 Hyundai iX20 oh fuck me you couldn't make it any worse I have no idea what this car is I think it's Kia Venga I, I've never seen an iX20. I've seen an i20. Never seen an iX20. If this has body mods, I'll be amazed. It doesn't. It won't. Damn. Probable car, probably. It does have a 101 foot pound of torque, though. Wow, that means nothing. And we can rear wheel drive swap it. Let's, oh, God, you're learning. We'll supercharge it. Why not? So this needs so, to I... be E class for this. Wow, it actually gets pretty big tyres for a small car. Two four fives, which isn't bad. Well, you reckon my the better version of my car is comparable to a Hyundai iX20? Yes. Love you too. <laughs> That's the goal of this. In the same way, my car is kind of comparable to a Vectra, if you think about it. No, it doesn't no. have steer anywhere near as much. Yeah, 130 it, horsepower. It, that should be it enough. doesn't get as good as the Vectra, sorry. Yeah, I no, hope you, uh, if you're on about the Vectra C, you can actually go jump in a pit. Which one is uh, the Vectra C again? The boxy one. Anyways, the Mountain Chase Yaris S. Beat your opponent to fin the finish line as you race through traffic on the Fujimi Kaido Mountain Pass. So we get four routes. Kaido, of course, as you remember from Forza 3, was a giant big track, which is about, I think it's 19 kilometers long in total, where you go up the mountain and down it again. Uh, for these, they break it into stages, which is kind of like what we saw in Forza 1. Although this time around, you've only got one opponent and you have to go through traffic, as it mentioned. And when the game says traffic, what it actually means is slow-moving vehicles that sit on the racing line. Traffic? But they sit on the racing line. Yeah, that, that's how traffic works on these mountain roads. No, it doesn't, because it's a two-lane road. Yeah. Full send. No. If you die in a head-on collision, so be it. You were saving the time. The Japanese up until don't that take point. risks. They do. Yes, they do. That's they're, why they're they very conservative. To death. There's a reason the GTR's been the same since 2007. Exactly. Because Anyways, here's the mighty Hyundai. There's the black Yaris in front of us. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. Does it even get hyped up? Uh, <laughs> I can't even pretend. Oh my God! The launch. We, 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 we don't have it. This ain't it, Chief. IX20, what did you expect? This ain't it, Chief. What do I say? You don't even, like, start side by side or, like, what? nose That's to tail. the longest first gear I've ever seen. <gasps> At least the gauge cluster is blue. <laughs> At least. You can do that to many cars. He might get stuck too. behind a Suzuki Liana yet. So you've done to hey, in about 20 seconds. Is this better than the grid toge mode with traffic? I've got no idea because I didn't play grid long enough to suffer through any of its bullshit. Fair enough. So I should mention, this is actually pretty difficult when it's the lower powered opponents. When it gets to the uh, the quicker opponents, they um, them and traffic don't really mix too well, so... Yeah, no. Which is weird. Up the inside. If you no longer go for a gap, you're not driving on a Japanese mountain road. Oh, look at that. <gasps> he got Yo. held up by a Toyota. That's never happened in the history of the world. I'm overtaking fellow IX-20s. See, they're not getting in my way. They're loyal... Submissive. IX-20s. <laughs> the mighty IX-20s. Subby IX-20s. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the sub IX2 tw <laughs> IX20s and the Dom Igos. <laughs> so what cows a switch? <laughs> Micra. <laughs> <laughs> Micra doesn't care. <laughs> Neither does the Liana, really. Oh, I hate how I'm going to think about that next Liana's time. Liana's just happy one. to get anything. You should just drive. You should just draw like a kink chart. Of these cars, <laughs> oh, I don't know. The, I don't know. I've seen Top Gear, the Iger, the the Lasetti. No, help! 
I am okay, Inferno. How are you? The seed. I literally just. I... Nice. Oh yes, yeah, Saki. Thanks for reminding. Me. I was wondering who Sasaki was when you mentioned it in chat, and now I've just remembered. Oh yeah, it's the opponent name. Oh, and look at that across the line. It's Hyundai one. Toyota nil. It's currently being held up by a Kia C apostrophe D. So hold on a second. That was meant to be the most difficult. Yeah. Yes. Well, I say most difficult. Uh, it, this isn't the most difficult. It's the most difficult in terms of the AI because the AI can avoid traffic better at slower speeds. When it gets to the higher speed ones, the biggest issue is yourself on the mountain roads because they're not particularly great. You know. Jimmy Cable is amazing. Shut up. Oh god, don't be one of those people. They should have Brian. Father, why are you no one for Jimmy Kaido? I do like mains, but I like road. I like tracks with the walls. I like right these specific the events, the that's it. I don't, don't like it as a track. Right I don't like it as a track. I don't like it as a drift zone. I don't like it as a time trial thing, but the avoiding traffic thing yeah, is kind of cool. Dinner is breakfast, it seems. Nice. I haven't had either, so... Alright, let's let us let's sort that first gear out a bit. There we go. How are you, how are you not dead, then? I'm, I ate two crunchies. Oh, no, you are just... You are changing final drive. Cool. I yeah. thought you were just going to shorten first. Well, I mean, second <laughs> wasn't that long. Second was only about 60 miles an hour. It's basically a racing... Proper racing gearbox. They're still going to... Oh, that's much better. <laughs> yeah, by racing gearbox in my Hyundai iX20, which I'm sure no one's ever said. Let's be honest, before this episode, you all forgot the iX20 was even in this game. Yeah. I didn't know it was, ever. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I, I thought it was the i10. Listen, I had to use this at some point. I just knew it because it's weird. What the fuck other games is the Hyundai iX20 in? I bet you any money if you go to IGCD, it will literally be in nothing. Unless it's lumped in with the I-20, in which case it will be I'm in WRC it. games and that's it. Yeah. IGC. Nah. This is the worst website in the world for fun again. No, nope, it is just force of thought. Damn you. Damn, it's... You know, Gran Turismo had the GT90, Horizon 1 had the Ford GTX1. We have the Hyundai iX20 in Forza 4. <laughs> Under it's not your legs. I wonder what other games IGC... only show up in this game. IGCD literally has manufacturers that don't have any cows. They've got Bloodhound as a what, manufacturer, what's a but Bloodhound? no games. The, I assume they mean the speed record cow. Oh, that's getting carried to Horizon 4 next week. Oh, is it? <laughs> it uh, genuinely would surprise me. It should. Technically, it's a part of British engineering history, so... Yeah. Because we built it. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be the record car until someone can figure out if electric engines can make that much thrust. Probably not. I want you to think about what you've just said. Yeah. Thrust. Yeah. Well, you don't take a world record card has got to have thrust. If it doesn't have thrust, depends, then what's it going to do? Depends how you take the statement thrust. Electric engines don't really produce it. Yeah, exactly. That's why electric is kind of. inferior. It's kind of, it depends. All world record cars need to produce thrust. I suppose it, technically you count every car as having thrust because that's just forward propulsion. I'm sorry, I'm not into manga or anime or any of that. Wow, hey, the Aris is really slow on this event. It was stuck behind my. It got stuck behind two white IX 20s. The squad. They really are sub. I mean, what? Stage A reverse. So this one's going to be uphill, which worries me because we've got less power than the Yaris has. No, you don't. No, I think that it's an upgraded Yaris S, so it's got to be. Mind you, how high up in PI is the standard Yaris S? It's around the 375 mark. 375? It's around there. 375 horsepower. I meant performance point. No, it's not. It's got to be. 275 is the classic E, yeah. 
I think it might be two five something. So if this a Yaris S has what one hundred and six horsepower stock. One hundred five in the game. Fours are usually upgrades for power, so it's probably. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, you might be running about what we are. Yeah. Hello, Omar, how are you? I'm fine. I'm currently watching a Toyota Yaris S not be able to get past the Nissan Micra. Neil, I've got a quest. Free wide on the mountain pass! Oh, we're going downhill. Oh. Never mind, I thought it was going uphill. I have a question. Mm -hmm. What happened to Remain? Who? Remain. Are you still about? Oh. He only shows up early though. Good. Oh, look at that. Look at it. I'm going to pull a handbrake turn. Wow! Look at this cinematic battle between two titans of industry. This is really shit racing. Korea versus Japan. Oh, look at the Kia. Annoyingly, these events are going to be the ones with the spike in popularity. Oh yeah, because everyone's Good. gonna be queuing up to watch the Hyundai X20 slay the Toyota machine. Yes, they are. <laughs> it's the worst addiction. I mean, I'm not in. Yeah, I'm, I don't really get how people can watch anime when they're old, but I don't know. I don't get how people can watch anime. Bro, I literally stopped watching cartoons when I was like five to watch BBC News. So. Do you know what I like about the AX20? What? The rear end of it looks like a disappointed parent. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I can't imagine you're going to be particularly excited about clambering into your I Hyundai iX20. I'm not even convinced we got the iX20 as a car. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, I, I doubt it. I mean, I don't want the definition of toge. Is this toge? I thought toge was a drift thing. No. Uh, no, toge just means maintenance pass, as far as I know. So toge racing is an actual thing. Yeah. A weeb for the blood Sweet. gore and occasional fan service. I was just watching boys on Amazon Prime, then that's the same thing. Uh. Are we Double checked. Uh, <sighs> Full throttle through that corner. This Hyundai isn't bad. It's not great. It's, it's not even good, but it's not bad. That's, you're asking for a lot there, AJ. That's probably a couple of grand. You're not going to get any women with a modded console, I assure you. Stage B reverse. Get it? The stage B in reverse. Stage B reverse. Ah! No, I don't. Ah. Please explain it. <laughs> in excruciating detail. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather talk more about the mighty Hyundai X20 and how it's slaying your Yaris. No, it w no you wouldn't. Why? Oh, a Hyundai X20 is a real car in the UK. Is it? There's reviews for it. Did anyone buy it? I'm gonna have a look. There's bit. 32 for sale currently. Wow. It's exclusively sold in Europe, apparently. It means it can't have sold more than 40 then. Yeah, no. I was a weeb until I started watching Top Gear. <laughs> Fair enough. Hmm. I mean. The stories are uh, unique, don't get me wrong, I'm just not personally interested in it. I tried watching Initial D when I was like 12 and it was the most boring show I've ever seen in my life. So. There's people freaking over over the most boring car in the world. How long will the stream last? Fuck knows. Car looks like a hatchback. Well! <laughs> You'll be. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know. This car may or may not be hatch of back. Do you know what else is a hatchback? What? The A86 and initial D. Is it really? This is basically Takami. Right? Wow. Yeah. Do you know what I love about this car? 
It's got a recycle logo on the steering wheel. Did anyone ask? The audience did. Because they all come here for me, aren't you? Mighty Igo, save me. Mighty IX20, save me. Mighty Bad Tankled IX20, save me. So basically we've established there's six cars in these mountain passes? Right? Yeah. Um, Kia, Micra, Liana, IX20. Did I say I go? I uh, maybe. Uh, they're all Japanese is basically the point. Or Asian. Why is there no Holdens? Ugh. Got more enjoyment out of Wangang Midnight than I usually do. All I know about Wangang Midnight is they made arcade games of it. Yep. The run basically the same as initial, but well, they're kind of different. I don't know, let's ask... Well, what we've essentially got here is we've got a weeb when it's about cars and a weeb who just is an unashamed weeb. And then we've I'm, got a furry I... for balance. Hello. <laughs> You're a ballast. Yeah. I'm a large ballast. Um, As there is literally our appeal for the LGBTQ gamer. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm not saying that right, am I? It's LGBTQIPA2+. Just say plus. Mazda Miata owner. Yeah, I'll take that. That's just a succinct. Look at the river, the mighty PlayStation 2 graphics of the river, and across the line. Yeah, I didn't like the Wangan, uh, the Initial D, even, arcade games. Because wow. you don't need to touch the brakes on a mountain pass. I'll discuss that it's one off stream. That's fucking... That is... Mmm. Mm -mm. mm -mm -mm. Oh, no. Anyways. We're done with the IX-20. I know, it's a shame. I was really getting attached to it, too, but... It, unfortunately, it now passes into our garage where it will be nothingness within a few days. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we'll be taking a look at another 1v1 mountain chase. This time, we're pursuing the Mazda Speed Roadster. So join us for that. Until then, farewell.